Hi there. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Nice. Hello. Hello. You hear us? <laughs> How are you? We are good. How are, are you? Good. I'm doing well. Thank you. So how's the day so far? Yeah. Say, say, one, say one again. How's the day so far? Uh, the day is good. It's been sunny here in Sweden for the first time in like 10 years. So it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. So guys, your third full-length album, Imperial Dawn, was out on Feb 3rd. So would you like to tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this new album? Yeah. Um, we tried um, a different approach uh, for this album compared to the other two. Um, before, uh, Frida and I, we have been like in our own studios, uh, working on our own ideas and then try to put the songs together. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, we, we tried that on a couple of songs, but we didn't really thought it turned out as good as we wanted. So we said, okay, we try, we try a new approach. So we are sitting down together at the same time, in the same room with just an acoustic guitar, keyboard, and take, take it from scratch um, and going through the details as much as we could. And um, we did that a couple of songs and we realized, okay, this is it. This is how Frida and I work as best. best. So um, we did that and uh, then that was the new, uh, the new way how we did the album. Fantastic, fantastic. Does Imperial Dawn has some kind of concept or a theme behind it? Uh, not really a pure concept. Um, it's been um, uh, it's been more thinking about you know moving forward with the the sound that we already have you know elevated and. Um, we wanted to you know we know, do faster songs, uh, work faster with the drums, uh, use more keyboards, uh, more guitars on the songs than before, and you know just pump it up uh, as much as we could. I'm working a lot more with my voice, like you know more raspy voice and stuff like that. So we have just you know elevated the songs from the previous albums, but not you know a concept for the whole album more than we wanted to do a great melodic. That's all. Album. Yeah, yeah, a more uh, melodic uh, style and uh, an egg later. Yeah. Energetic. Energetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overall. And so uh, even with the drums, of course. Fantastic. And uh, talking about the album, an amazing album you guys put together. Uh, I cannot put, mm -hmm. put into any kind of genre, to be honest. It has power, the energy. It is heavy, it is hard rock, it's everything inside of this album. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <Welcome>. you. <laughs> Brilliant work for me, guys. Thank you so much for this amazing album. And as a band, how do you feel about the outcome of this album? I think we are very happy so far. Um, I mean, when you are in a writing process, you, you don't, may, maybe in your head you can hear the complete songs but it's when it's actually finalized you can really hear what what it is like and uh, from my point of view i'm very happy about the out outcome uh, i cannot really see if we could do something different or better because i, I think we uh, we did the, the best as we could uh, so uh, from my point of view i'm very very happy about it and since you know we had, had had a lot of great reviews already we have like 8 out of 10 10 out of 10 it was like really overwhelming reviews and the greatest thing for us is also that we have recorded it ourselves you know in our own studios at and at home so now we know that we have so much potential to you know work ourselves you don't have to go to another studio and have another an engineering or producer we can you know, produce something really great ourselves. So that's a very good thing for the future and the future albums as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. And did you guys do something special last Friday? <laughs> uh, not really. Not really. It was kind <laughs> of a, you know, we have we have had so much uh, response on our second single, Light Up the Sky. We, we went on, we was, it was added on, you know, three Spotify playlists, uh, a lot of views on YouTube and everything. So, you know, it couldn't really match all that response we already have had. <laughs> so it was like, 
oh this was it <laughs> but but afterwards it has came you know a lot of fans who think this album is great and they are so happy for you know the the vinyl and everything they have gotten so really great uh, response from from everyone so it it has been you know a couple of days and we're still kind of celebrating i believe <laughs> yes yes and you have put videos for Paladin, Set Me on Fire and Light Up the Sky. So is there plans for one more video from this album? It will release Paradigm um, February 3rd, the same day as the album with a lyric video. So there's one out already. And uh, we're working on, you know, spreading the word about that one. A um, lot of good, good response on it. Already. Yeah, and we and we are not really planning at the moment to do another thing in another video or so, um, as we can see right now, uh, at least. Good, good, yeah. And uh, any touring plans that has been scheduled as of now? Not touring right now. We have uh, one um, uh, release party date <laughs> coming up um, in uh, Mars. Um, 24th yes yeah and uh we will play with some other swedish band in the city called link shopping that will be you know the kickoff for everything but right now we're you now uh waiting for kind of response on festivals this summer and see if it it will be something there and we also have some planning on contacting some agencies and stuff and see if they can help us out with you know touring so nothing booked but we're working really hard on it because we really get, want to get out on the roads to you know meet the fans. So fantastic, fantastic. and uh, the history of the band goes way back to 2016, and now you have two EPs and three albums. So how has the journey been for you guys so far? Oh, it's it's been a very nice journey so far. Um, the years has passed by really quick. Um, maybe it has to do with my age. I don't know, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it. I mean, the first years we didn't really know exactly where we we had an, a vision, of course, that we wanted to play melodic metal in some kind. Uh, but there has been like steps further on to just knowing, okay, here is where we what we should play, and here is our approach, uh, like a band. Um, so, and we have learned a lot during our way um, on, on the journey. Um, we said in an interview, like, okay, we are not, we are not doing anything like 50%, but from that, we still have done some 50% stuff if you compare where we are now. So we, it's been a very big lesson um, on our journey forward. Um, maybe Priya, you can uh, develop this a bit more. You know, we've always been working as hard as we can according to our knowledge about, you know, recording and touring and everything. We have always been, you know, a band totally focused on what we're doing, what we want to do, where, where we're aiming. Uh, but, you know, everyone has to be a child in the beginning. So you can't just, you know, be the pro at the first song you do. So we have, we have taken the steps necessary for us. And I believe that now we are in the place that we really know everything we want to know about how we're going to produce and showcase Rexoria. Like what, what kind of cover art we want, what kind of people we want to work with, what style we want. So it was a journey and it was a good one because I also think that we, during the journey, also got some really good fans that will stick with us always so you don't you know come out and do a bam album but no one really not recognizes you now we have a very solid fan base that really likes us and you know stays with us so that was a good way to also build your fan base and build uh build a brand rexoria around it during these years and uh any highlight moments that you want to share with me today highlights we have. <laughs> we have <laughs> I I liked the tour with Bloodbound in uh, what year was that? 2017. Yeah. Yeah. That tour was great. Yeah. And the first one as well. 
And um, I think I think it was a you know the biggest thing for all of us because it was the first real European big tour with you tour know, bus and stuff. Tour bus, you know, meeting big bands that we were really you know looking up to ourselves and everything. It was like <laughs> you know pretty cool weeks to to join to join them there. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, do you feel like you're living the dream or is there more things that you want to still dream on to achieve? <laughs> <laughs> Much more shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and for me, I, I'm I'm like a CD and vinyl fan. Uh, so uh, one goal, of course, would be to have like a gold record on the wall on with your own album that have been sold for I don't know how many pieces it is now if it's 15,000 or so but that would be very cool for me it's like you know for the first time play at a big festival with you know this huge crowd <laughs> in front of you I don't know that feeling would be totally amazing to to get to was mm, a great experience yep yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, will there be more changes in Rexoria in terms of music in the future? More changes? Mm. I mean, I think we're gonna stick to what we have now, a uh, very similar, um, similar approach. Uh, then of course you always want to develop yourself and so on, but uh, we, we really feel that we are in, on a track where we are comfortable with, and that we also think that this this is works or this is how, how we want to play and uh, how we want to sound like. Yeah, I think the sound right now, you know, I think we have a platform right now where the sound is, and then we're just gonna work around that one. Before we were like, you know, leveling with where should we go? Should it be more of this? Should it be more of that? But now we have, you know, a really steady ground that we know and truly believe in, and then you don't start to working around it. Maybe. Should we do a bigger ballad this time or uh, like harder songs, but still, you know, have the foundation of, of Rexoria? Fantastic, fantastic. And the album is just out. So do you have any plans for this year before going on touring or after the touring or there'll be a long gap before you get to the studio again? We, we haven't talked that much about it, but I think, I mean, we don't want to wait four years to another album. Uh, so, I mean, we have already some ideas and um, now it's a lot with interviews and stuff like that. But when it's a bit more calm, I think we're going to right away start looking to start write some songs and take it from there because the writing process always takes longer than you expect. Uh, so it's always nice to have a couple of songs already um, so um, but but i don't really have the exact time or we don't have that time frame at the moment we always said that when we are touring you know when we're on the tour bus and it's like some time you just have to kill before the next show we said like okay but then we can sit there and you know write some songs in the bus we never do <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> yeah, we sleep or just like you know hanging out with other bands and having fun so it's, it's kind of hard to find the yeah. time to do it no, no songwriting on the bus yeah. never <laughs> oh. and guys finally any message that you want to give to the fans around the world yeah yeah you should do it <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course, we want to, you know, hope that everyone likes Imperial Dawn and want to listen to Rexoria. Um, and of course, they want, we hope they want to buy a CD or a vinyl if they love it. Um, and, um, you know, want to tour in new places we haven't been in before. We haven't been in USA, we haven't been in Asia, uh, you know, try to to get around to meet for even more fans and also, you know, meet the current fans that we already have on, on the tours. 
Fantastic. And guys, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this wonderful opportunity to have you guys on the show. And thank you so much for putting up an amazing album this year. And thank you, thank you so much thank for you. all the music. And I wish you guys all the best and hope to see you guys on the road real soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.